my name is Morgan Freeling, and I'm a freshman at the University of Arkansas. I'm from the small city of Bentonville, Arkansas, which is home to not only Walmart headquarters, but also the popular art museum Crystal Bridges. On my last trip back to Bentonville, I was lucky enough to catch the final days of the Warhol Wyeth collection. One piece that really stood out to me was a painting titled Portrait of John F. Kennedy. From the day he was born on a July afternoon in 1946, James Browning Wyeth was destined to be a great artist. His father, grandfather, and two uncles were famous painters, so it was no surprise that Wyeth took up painting. In the sixth grade, Wyeth dropped out of school to focus on his art. His devotion to art paid off, and by the time he was 18, Wyeth's work hung in multiple galleries. Wyeth paid close attention to detail while painting portraits of people. He would examine all features of a person and their character before he began his work. True to his attention to detail, Wyeth worked in a hospital morgue one winter in order to study the anatomy of the human body. After John F. Kennedy's death in 1967, the grieving Kennedy family requested that Wyeth paint a portrait of the president. Jamie Wyeth agreed as long as the painting was done unofficially so that he would have the power to destroy it if he was not satisfied with the finished result. Preparation for the piece began with Wyeth closely studying Kennedy. He went through old pictures and films given to him by Jacqueline Kennedy. This painting as a whole lacks symmetry in that it has more positive space on the lower left side of the piece than in any other area. The excessive use of negative space reflects Kennedy's isolation as president. This job often wears down the president and makes them feel as if they are carrying the burdens of the country on their own. The value of the painting appears to fade as you move from left to right. Because this painting was created after John F. Kennedy's death, the change of value may very well represent a moving from darkness to lightness. The darkness representing the troubles and sins of the world and the light alluding to his passing, where he would be in heaven, which is pure and holy. Neurologist Sigmund Freud developed a branch of psychology known as psychoanalysis. This type of analysis reveals the unconscious mind. Kennedy was well known for having a charming persona and being well liked by the females. He allegedly had numerous affairs with famous actresses and socialites. Kennedy's complex expression reflects how he was a person on a psychoanalytical level. He was a multifaceted character with layers of emotional stress and complicated relationships. His face shows the pressures of not only being the president, but also being a public figure with his life in the spotlight. Keeping secrets about extramarital affairs can cause stress and worry, and you can clearly see these emotions written on Kennedy's face. JFK had a charming personality. American citizens loved the youthfulness of Kennedy and his family man image. The painting, however, shows a side of Kennedy that veers away from the happy-go-lucky president we often imagine. This is a more intimate and personal photo that shows Kennedy's emotional stress and vulnerability. During Kennedy's presidency, the president had to deal with some very heavy decision-making, dealing with the safety and well-being of our nation. One of the main issues Kennedy faced was the Cuban Missile Crisis. Kennedy's hand placement alludes to his stressful life. This specific hand placement is a position we as humans naturally place our hands when we are deep in thought. The color scheme and lower third composition create a feeling of emptiness. In addition, the hollowness echoes the emotions felt by the public after President Kennedy's death. The style of this photo can easily be classified as realism. It is evident that this piece of artwork was drawn based on direct observation. Although Kennedy was no longer alive, Wyeth was able to observe him through old films and pictures. For example, all of JFK's facial features, such as his nose, eyes, and mouth, are all in proportion to each other and the rest of his body. I chose to research and discuss this piece because I found great nationalistic value in the portrait of JFK. As Americans, we take great pride in our fearless leaders. Wyeth does a great job at depicting the president in a way that we sympathize with him and reflect back on the period of history where JFK successfully led our country. The mood of this painting is solemn due to its dark color scheme and the serious look on the president's face. We value the dedication, stress, and time John F. Kennedy endured in order to serve the people of the United States. I also found this piece to have intrinsic value. Both Wyeth and his father worked extremely hard to create a name for themselves. I was fascinated with how much time and work Wyeth put into studying JFK before he even began the painting. It would have been easy for Wyeth to create a basic, traditional presidential portrait. However, Wyeth took the time to include specific details. This piece impressed me overall by the emotion it evoked out of me and Wyeth's attention to detail.